Nearly three weeks after a local woman was murdered, a memorial has taken shape outside of an Aloha apartment complex. This as the woman's family prepares to honor her life. Fox Show's Paulina Aguilar joins us now live from Aloha with more. Paulina? Yeah, I'm at the Goose Apartments, but I want you to know she didn't live here and she wasn't killed here. But if you can see behind these buildings in the back corner is the dumpster where detectives say the killer hid her body. Now, as we were leaving the apartment complex today, we stumbled across this memorial in honor of Kaylee. You can see loving written messages on the sidewalk and on the poster with pictures, stuffed animal, a baby blanket, and there was even a candle lit earlier. This just goes to show how loving she was. Fabian Hernandez is accused of killing his ex-girlfriend, Kaylee Birdzell. Police say she was killed and put into a trash compactor at the Goose Apartments in Aloha. It feels uncomfortable. It's awful. It just really shook me up. It's such a terrible story, and it's so sad to see her family, their public display of grief, you know. A resident at the apartment says he remembers the day police arrived with crime tape. They were there for a long time and people want to start taking out their trash because the cops goes, never mind, we'll take it for you. Just last week, Kaylee's body was finally found in a landfill in Corvallis. And now, nearly three weeks later, Kaylee's spirit still lives on. I feel, and I think others around here feel like a, a sense of obligation to um, try and respect her memory family strangers who pass by writing loving messages you will always be loved my kaylee mom may you fly high rest in love baby sis xoxo ash i love you i know we never met but i pray your family is able to heal and i pray you're at peace in life written by a stranger they can know that we, myself, and other people in this neighborhood will continue to put flowers here and bring candles and keep them lit and that we care. Hernandez was supposed to be arraigned today on four charges, including second degree murder, but it was postponed. We did talk to her family who say they were on their way to California for a celebration of life. Reporting in Aloha, Pauline Aguilar, Fox 12, Oregon.